Greetings Sabre fans. What we have here is a Corbanth MPP and this Corbanth MPP is in a New Hope fashion. Uh, you can see it's got the silver clamp bars, it's got the clamp in place. I'm not doing the bent nail and all treatment there but it is fairly accurate. You can also see I've got the green sloth furnace clamp card and I've added the solder points beneath the clamp card. I'm kind of hoping that'll show up on video. Uh, you can see the solder points showing up underneath the bubble strip. It has the A New Hope grips that do not come all the way to the clamp. There are seven of these grips, so it's different. They're shorter and there's more of them. Another modification I've made is I've added slotted screws here and here, and also those slotted screws are countersunk to be more accurate to the initial MPP. I've also added slotted screws here and here to be more accurate. Activation on this lightsaber is your standard activation. This lightsaber is an inhilt LED saber equipped with a deep red, deep red green tricree uh, and also is powered by an 18650 with a Nano Biscotti version 4 and an MHS V6 chassis. Here's the, here's the demonstration video. Greetings everyone. This is Meg2 Sys Sabres. This is my November project this year. It had a Darth Vader theme. This is an MPP Corbant in a New Hope configuration. It's got the silver clamp bars. The clamp lever is affixed on this. No wires and you've got the shorter grips so you've got more of an exposed between the clamp and the grips. Uh, ESB is quite a bit different. It has the the no clamp lever on it and it's got just a, a rivet on the end. It's got the longer grips and it's also got the wires attached. But on the New Hope, no wires, silver clamp, silver clamp bars, shorter grips. This one's powered by Nanibus Scotty 4, three fonts aboard. Because it's in a New Hope, here goes the learner. You like that unique flash on flash? That's awesome, isn't it? It's changed with each font because this is deep red, deep red, green. That's a pretty bad saber right there. Next font. Gray meat. You see a more orangish there. Next font, it's dark meat. With a custom boots on. Dark meat. Look at that flash on flash. That's unique to me. I love the, the green flash on flash on deep red, deep red, green. There you go. Nana Biscotti 4. And let y'all hear the boot sound on the learner. This one is powered by Nano Biscotti 4 as well, MHS V6 chassis. Does not have an onboard recharge port. All you need to do to swap the batteries out is remove the pommel, drop out the uh, MHS V6 chassis, pop your battery out, pop a new one in, boom, you're good to go. Uh, y'all, if y'all don't know, I am uh, DS74759 in the 501st Legion. I know what, I know how to build a trooping saber. And all the sabers, you know, at least the sabers on, on this run that I'm building, except for the one that's going to have Profi in it, are all trooping sabers. So this saber and the Anakin ROTS were built with trooping in mind. Uh, easy battery change, inhilt LEDs, should last a long time anyway with the, with the 18650 battery, but you can swap them out if need be. But these things are ready to roll. Uh, this is my uh, big build for this year, is these three Darth Vader sabers. And lastly, to show you how to change out batteries, this hilt is not 
equipped with the Inhilt recharge port. This has swappable batteries through the MHS V6 uh, Custom Saber Shop MHS V6 chassis. And how you get the battery out to replace it is you remove the pommel and then you tilt the saber carefully into your hand and the MHS V6 chassis comes out. You slide the 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 TH shroud into the into the hilt and that exposes your Nano Biscotti 4 board and there you can see my wiring and you can see my solder points on the Nano Biscotti everything's silver and shiny it's a it's a good job and my wiring is not nasty and it's not covered with uh, you know the whole thing's not covered with hot glue and then you also see my uh, key power 18650 battery that I have here. Now the, the thing about these batteries is you just take this strip right here and you tug on that strip and boom out pops your battery. When you put your battery in you want to make sure that the battery goes on top of that strip so you can use that strip to tug it out. So you can see it's fairly quick to change your battery. The important thing is the positive always goes towards the emitter and it is labeled inside here too. You don't want to put the battery in backwards, that'll mess up your saber. Pop the battery back in. Your lack of faith you hear the boot and now I want to show you how to get the the SD card out of your Nano Biscotti. You push in and it's spring loaded and it pops out. And there's your SD card. You can add new fonts if you want. Pop your SD card back in, flip it over, pop your battery in. I find your lack of faith then you want to reach inside the hilt with your finger and grab that piece of TH shroud and you pull the TH shroud back over the the chassis and the chassis slides in just like so just like it's meant to be it locks in when you screw in the pommel and the activation is right here so to change fonts you push and hold this through two beeps And you can see I do have shine through in the slots. The slots don't have wires because this is in a New Hope configuration. The Sabre comes with one battery. You can purchase your own spares. And if you desire, oops, I put it on the button. And by the way, it lit up and mute. So I didn't show that. If you push the button through one beep, and let it go it lights up and mute you can see there it's lighting up and by the way this saber also comes with a blade plug which is an MPP blade plug from the custom saber shop which I'm hoping you can see there in the video because this is an Anu Hope MPP it does not have the wires in the slots because the Anu Hope version did not uh, as most of you all know I'm in the 501st Legion and I try to build these as accurately as possible. In my opinion, this saber will pass muster for the 501st Legion. It is screen accurate for A New Hope, and this will make a great lightsaber for somebody. The price point is located down in the description. This A New Hope MPP, the blade retention on this saber, is this forward slotted screw. To release a blade, you turn this forward slotted screw, and this is the tough part about this install, is it's a, it's a slotted screw, but you have to do that to keep accuracy. Once you, once you uh, remove that screw, you can see the blade plug slides out, and then you pop the blade plug back in, or the blade, and then you would tighten that screw, which holds your blade in. Now, I've done this to maintain accuracy. This, of course, can be replaced with a 440 uh, set screw, or you can drill and tap this out to 832, but I'm trying to keep this saber as accurate as possible. This lightsaber does not come with a lightsaber blade. However, if you want one, I can make one for you. And this takes a 7 8 inch blade, 
and you would have to choose between round tip or bullet tip if you want me to make a blade which will be forty dollars extra these are lightsaber blades which I make in the fashion of Vader's vault this is a round tip and this is a 7 8 inch blade this is a bullet tip this is a 1 inch blade these are my personal blades and they have been used for some light doing so you know they've been through some use but I wanted to show you the difference between a round tip and a bullet tip some people think that bullet tips look phallus but if you want a saber blade I can make one for you and I have both round tips and bullet tips in stock and 7 8 and 1 inch so if you want me to make a lightsaber blade for your Darth Vader or your Anakin Saber, let me know and I will make you a blade for $40. May the force be with you.